My name is Shaquafina, and I'm your coach of the Anaheim Mighty Psyducks here in week one of the SUCC Pokemon Draft Battle League. And we are going up against Shattered Simiseer and his team, the Toronto Star Raptors. If you guys are excited for week one, please leave a like down below as well as subscribe to me and follow me on Twitter to be notified when future videos go up. Now, let's take a look at our team down here. We already know what we're bringing. And if you don't know what I'm bringing, there should be a link down below to my team builder. I highly suggest you check that out before... Uh, watching this video will really help you out and because I'm bringing a little bit of heat this week a little bit of different sets so uh, But my opponent's team. I'm not surprised to see anything on there. Of course Mega Lopunny top three megas in the entire format uh, Thunderous top three electric types in the entire format Hydreigon in this league is tier two for whatever reason so Obviously a great tier two threat Don fan gets things like stealth rocks knockoff uh, rapid Spin, it gets Priority and Ice Shard, which would be very good against my team, especially since I have my Dragonite and my Gliscor, which I could have possibly brought, that are both four times a week to Ice, so I'm not surprised to see the Don fan. And then, as I stated in my Team Builder a couple of times, Uxie and Amoongus are both going to be kind of a problem for me if I don't take them out or don't uh, get residual damage on them early, so I'm not surprised to see either of them as well. Uh, basically, I... I predicted these six coming, maybe something else, maybe the Gardevoir in there instead of the Don Fan was a possibility, or instead of the uh, Uxie. But uh, this is what we're bringing, and looking at his team, I'm expecting him to lead with the Don Fan, uh, just to get Stealth Rocks up and potentially threaten something of mine out because he actually met, uh, matches very well against my team. He could be expecting me to lead with my Empoleon and lead Donphan and uh, possibly outspeed me and get an Earthquake off. That would really hurt me there. Uh, or even with my uh, Venusaur with, with an Ice Shard. He has Sturdy. He can get up to Stealth Rocks for free. I'm just expecting Donphan lead, so I'm going to go ahead and lead with my Manaphy here as he actually goes with his Uxie. Now, I don't want to deal with this thing. I want to take it out as early as possible, to be completely honest. And I know that this doesn't get a lot of offensive moves. It doesn't really... It's not really a very offensive Pokemon. So I can I can deal with this since I'm defensive. I can take any hit from this thing. Uh, even an ener Energy Ball is like 20% max. So I decided to Tail Glow here. Uh, just to get the plus three. Uh, threaten some things on his team as he reveals the Thunder Wave. I'm a little disappointed in that. I kind of should have seen that coming, but uh, nevertheless, I'm plus three. I'm going to be doing a lot of damage to anything he wants to switch in here. So uh, m my thought process here is, you know what? I can get to plus six. I'm bulky. I can live any one hit from anything. Even the Thunderous, I max special defense, calm, max HP. So I can live uh, a Thunderbolt if it's Life Orb. If it's, if it's modest choice specs, I don't know if I'm living a Thunderbolt, but... Uh, I can live anything else at plus, and at plus six pretty much knock out whatever I want. So I decided to go plus six here as he gets his stealth rocks up and I get fully paralyzed. So uh, right off the bat I'm like, I, I'm thinking I don't want this to be that kind of game. I don't want to be uh, playing with hacks this whole time. So uh, I'm just trying not to get frustrated right now. As he goes for energy ball you see it does about 21% like I said. And then I go for the Scald here, uh, honestly just predicting the switch into something else. Um, and also trying to get a burn on this if it stays in, just for residual damage, as I stated earlier. But we don't get the burn. As you can see, it does about 38%, so it, right around 40%, which is what my calc stated. Um, maybe I should have went plus 6 there, but now that I think about it, probably best that I didn't. I was just trying to get some big damage off on things, maybe checking this thing's uh, set, seeing if it's, if it's uh, physically defensive or specially defensive. But as we see here, he just goes for another energy ball, uh, does 18%, uh, and I got fully parried again. So that's two out of three turns after the paralysis that I've been fully parried. Not really a big fan of that. Uh, I was trying to go plus six there and really threaten this thing out and possibly destroy it with a uh, with a Shadow Ball. Actually, Shadow Ball would have absolutely just killed this thing at plus six from full out of O-Code. So uh, I'm just trying to get the plus six here. Uh, I know I can O-Co anything for plus six. Energy Ball happens, and then of course he gets the Special Defense drop, and then I get Parrot again for the third time in four turns. 
So that's that's getting really, really annoying. Not only did he get the drop there on me, so I like, can't take hits as well, but I also just can't do anything because I'm being fully parried every single turn. So that's really, really annoying. And I know I can't really stay in here uh, for a bunch of hits at this point anymore because I have the special defense drop. And uh, I just decided to get some damage off on this thing. Hopefully put it low enough that my next Pokemon can knock it out. So I go for the under I go for the Shadow Ball, excuse me. It does 55%, brings him down to about 30%. And, I, and then I have to switch out because I don't want to lose my Mana Fee this early. I go into my Venusaur here because my Calc says Sludge Bomb should... Uh, there's a really good chance of a Sludge Bomb knocking this thing out from this range. And I know Energy Ball isn't going to do anything to me. And I should outspeed as well in the following turn. So I'm not really worried about uh, him going for Psychic right now. Uh, the one thing that I actually screwed up on, as you see those 28%, we don't get the poison, so uh, no 30% chance for poison, and no 30% chance for the burn earlier with the Scald. Uh, the one thing I screwed up on is that I did not take his leftovers recovery into account, so that's an extra 6% that I didn't take into account, and that actually mattered quite a bit. We did end up getting a lower roll anyway, so I guess it didn't, it didn't matter as much, he would have still lived. But had we got a, a, a mid roll or a high roll, that could have been the difference in knocking out that Oopsie if I would have calc it correctly, and then I wouldn't have had to switch in and out all the time with my Venusaur here. So uh, he just goes for T Wave on me, on my Sludge Bomb, instead of actually going for the Psychic, which is fairly interesting. I, I, I It's annoying, don't get me wrong, I'm very annoyed by that. But I feel like Psychic probably would have been his better play there, obviously, to do just ungodly amount of damage to me but I guess he's just trying to play the stall game and then the, the hacks game which I I don't like if you guys know anything it's just I get kind of salty when I start getting hacked out so uh, I decided to switch here and do my crappy feet because I know I could take the incoming psychic with no problem which I do and I honestly don't really care if this thing gets paralyzed I know it means half my team would be paralyzed but this is the one thing I really don't mind because it's already slow enough uh, it's not really meant to attack, it's more of, I'm a defog, set up my rocks kind of thing, so I'm not too worried about getting paired with this. As uh, we see here, he does go for the Thunder Wave, I'm slower than him anyway, so it doesn't matter, but I get fully paired again. So, uh, I went for five attacks being paralyzed on different Pokemon, and four out of those five times I've been fully paralyzed. So I'm... I'm really getting hacked right now. Like, this Uxie would have been dead four turns ago if I didn't get fully paralyzed uh, so much. So I, I'm a little salty at this point. I'm just really wanting this Uxie to be out of here. As he switches out into his Amoongus, I go ahead and defog these rocks away. I, I do not want rocks in the field because uh, my Dragonite is a win condition for me, and I need his multi-scale intact in order to uh, be that, that late game sweeper that I need him to be at this point. Especially since my Manaphy has been paralyzed, my Venusaur has been paralyzed. Uh, those are two really big offensive threats that I have. My Dragonite really needs to come through for me. So I have to be really careful with my Dragonite, make sure it doesn't get parried or, or burned or uh, comes in on rocks or anything like that. So as you see here, he just uh, goes right back out into Uxie as I go into my Venusaur. So he probably predicted that switch there. Or uh, he just really wanted to get Stealth Rocks back up and didn't think I could do anything to him with Empoleon, which I really couldn't. So I don't know why he just switched out in the first place. But I go back out into Empoleon here on his on his rocks because I don't want to take a Psychic. He goes for the Energy Ball. You see that does absolutely nothing. But he gets another Special Defense Drop. Uh, I managed to break through this time, get his uh, get that other Defog off again. Uh, I was really expecting him to switch out there because I know he can't do anything to me. So I was expecting to switch back out into probably thunderous to be completely honest because he knew I was probably going to defog there I thought that was his best play but he stays in and uh, that gives him free reign to set up rocks again uh, I go for the, the 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 scald there try to get another burn on this thing but of course I get fully paralyzed once again so yeah that's happening this is a, what the sixth time I've been fully paralyzed it's turn 15 I, I'm, I'm very annoyed at this point guys I don't know if you can tell but uh, he goes for the energy ball again. It's not doing anything. I just go for my own rocks here. I'm like, you know, screw it. Uh, I want to get this thing out of here. He goes for another energy ball. Uh, I'm pretty low. I just roar him out. I don't want to deal with this thing. I want to spread some stealth rock damage along. Uh, my idea was hopefully to get out the low punny and hit that or to send out the Don fan to break the sturdy. <clears throat> then I can switch out into like my Azelf on the, on the EQ or something like that. But 
he brings this thing out, and I'm honestly not too, too, or <coughs> excuse me, sorry, I, was, I have a sore throat, I'm obviously, I'm obviously not too, too worried about this, uh, full disclosure, I'm really expecting this thing to be scarfed, like, kind of like a mixed scarf, he could have superpower on here, so that's something I take into account, but I'm really expecting, like, Draco, U-turn, uh, Dark Pulse, and then maybe superpower or some other move, uh, like that, but, uh, maybe like Zen Headbutt or something for, uh, Mega Venusaur, but, I, I don't really want to stay in, because of the superpower potential, but he switches out and he goes out into his Uxie, as I double out into my Venusaur, <clears throat> my Venusaur here, expecting the superpower. So, again, this is not something I want to deal with. I don't like this matchup. Obviously, he has the Psychic. He's shown he has the Psychic, and it does a good amount of damage to me. But I just stay in, and I go for the Synthesis, because I know I can live one, and I just want to see how much it will do. And we see that about as much as I'm going to get back with Synthesis, so it's really not worth my while staying in. I have to switch again. So I switch back out. I go into my Aladdin this time, as he goes for the Psychic, because I knew it wouldn't do too much. Uh, this is a little bit more than I hope, 17%, but... I'm really just hoping I can threaten this out, get it out of here. My best play would have been to go right back into my Empoleon, but uh, I was kind of irritated at this point by the amount of uh, paralysis that was going on, and just the fact that this Uxie is still alive and it should have been dead turn three. So I, I was just kind of annoyed. I let that get the better of me. I went out into my Azelf, kind of an aggressive play that really didn't make a whole lot of sense. And... Uh, we see he just goes, I go for the energy ball here, I do 23%, I know I'm not doing anything to him, as he just goes for another Thunder Wave, so I, I honestly deserve that one, it's still annoying, but I deserved it, uh, just for going out into my Azelf and not expecting that, you know, I, I don't really know what I was thinking there. Um, energy ball here, just about 26%, I go for Dazzling William, because I'm just, I'm a madman clicking buttons. But uh, he decides to switch here out into his... Don fan probably expecting me to go for the Dazzling Gleam again. But as we can see, I actually don't go for Dazzling Gleam here. I go for the Energy Ball, and it does it does enough to be a 2 it KO. We, we see that he's not Leftovers or anything, so I'm expecting he's probably... Um, he's probably Custat Berry, which is what I'm guessing. Because um, he's not Leftovers. So, yeah, we see that's a 2 it KO. That means... Uh, he goes for his Rapid Spin, here on the next turn I live, I go for the Energy Ball, I knock him out, and then I go down to my own Life Orb damage, so... Not the trade I was really hoping for, of course I had Nasty Plot on there, but I, I couldn't really set up on a whole lot of things, some Frail, uh, especially since I was parried. But he goes into this, <clears throat> as I decide to go into my Bruce Lee here. Uh, I'm just trying to get some pressure on some things, you know, really, really hurt him. Uh... I, I don't want I, I don't want that Uxie coming back in and paralyzing everything anymore so I decide that I, I'm just going to go ahead and go for the Unburden here I know I'll probably need it later on the uh, low punny but if everything goes according to plan with my Dragonite I won't really need uh, Hitmonlee for that anyway so I go for the fake out you see we get a crit that does almost half to the uh, Thunderous here as he switches out into his Amoongus I go for the Stone Edge it does 25%, so not a whole lot. Um, not a whole lot at all. And I decided to go for the Poison Jab here just to see how much that would do. It does about the same. He goes for the Giga Drain. I was kind of surprised he didn't go for the Spore there. I just start going for Stone Edge again just to hopefully get a crit and knock this thing out. He keeps going for Giga Drain. And he switches out into the Uxie and does not like that Stone Edge. So it goes down to Stone Edge plus Poison Jab there. So, Uxie goes down, Hitmonlee gets his first kill, and he goes right back out into this thing. Of course, Regenerator kicks in, giving him even more health. I I feel like I need Hitmonlee's fake out for later, or I want to keep it around just in case. So, uh, I decided to switch out here. I go into my Venusaur as he goes for the Giga Drain. Of course, it does absolutely nothing. I quad resist. But he switches out here. And into this thing again. I go for the synthesis just to get back to full. And we see that uh, Umugus is now at full health because of the regenerator he switched out, got back to full. That's something that uh, I'm not going to be too happy about. I really wanted that thing to be weakened. But uh, what, what are you going to do, you know? 
So, uh, I take a Zen Headbutt here, and this just shows me that he is 100% banded. I was really expecting this thing to be Scarf, but banded damage it is. Max attack, adamant, banded Zen Headbutt. I was not seeing that coming. A uh, very good bring on his part there. I'm just glad he didn't get the flinch, because this means I'm able to go for the Sludge Bomb and do about half in return. Uh, the only problem here is I cannot stay in because Zen Headbutt will knock me out, even though another Sludge Bomb will knock him out, so I have to switch into something. Now I'm going to go ahead and switch into my uh, Empoleon here. I can take the Zen Headbutt with no problem, 9%. And I know that he's banded because I calced it, so he can't do anything. He can't superpower me or anything because I don't have to worry about that. He's banded. He's choiced into his Zen Headbutt. So this gives me a free Defog or a free Stealth Rocks, or even a free Scald if I decide to go for that. Uh, he goes into his low punny here. I just decided to defog because I feel like it's worth it for my Dragonite. Uh, had I scalded there and got the burn, that would have been absolutely tremendous. But uh, obviously I thought defog at the time would be best. I really didn't think he'd switch into this. If anything, I thought he'd switch into the Amoongus. But that's that's fine. Absolutely fine. I know he's going to go for the fake out here, so I just go out into my 16 Aquafina here. Which, by the way, is a BoJack Horseman reference for you guys who don't know. And uh, I just go ahead and sack off my Manaphy because it's paralyzed, it's low on health, it's really not going to be doing anything to anything on this team anyway. So I go out into this, and we see the Ice Punch occur, and we see the Weakness Policy, and then we see the Agility. So my plan worked out perfectly. I go to plus two attack, I go to plus two speed. This is exactly what I wanted. This is the exact scenario that I prepped this for uh, in my team builder. This is exactly what I was talking about. Ice Punch on low punny. Hitting me with my multi-scale intact, absorbing 1.5 of that damage, and then kicking in my weakness policy, getting me to plus 2 attack, and then uh, going for the agility on the weakness policy proc, going to plus 2 speed. Now I outspeed everything on his entire team, except for possibly this low punny, it depends. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, and I could just pretty much oko everything else, except for the Amoongus, because it is at full. If this Amoongus just had 30 more percent, 30 percent, if I just could do 30 percent to this thing, uh, then I'd be able to oko everything on his team. But, alas, it's not. So he goes out into this thing, I just go for the E-Speed, because E-Speed okoed the low punny where it was at, and I didn't want to risk, like, a quick attack knocking me out, or, or something silly like that, or out speeding somehow, so... I decided to go for the extreme speed here, knock this thing out. Uh, down goes a high dragon. Then he goes out to the Amoongus, and this is what I was talking about. Dragon Claw hits. Brings it down 71%. I'm at plus two. I'm max attack adamant. This thing is really, really, really bothersome. I'm guessing it's actually a salt vest now that I look at it, because uh, it hasn't had any leftovers recovery or black sludge recovery. It's not Rocky Helmet, because I, I hit it earlier with a poison jab with a hitmon lee and didn't take any damage. So I felt like this thing was a salt vest and felt okay enough to risk him not having spore. As he goes for the HP ice, I live on 1 HP. 1 HP. So that, that almost makes up for all the hacks in the beginning. And I say almost because it, it really doesn't make up for any of the hacks in the beginning. But uh, it made me feel better for a second. It means I could knock out this Amoongus. Down it goes. And that also means Low Punny can come in and pretty much clean up. Uh, unfortunately. Uh, fake out here, definitely 100% outspeeds me. Nothing, in the, nothing outspeeds a fake out. So I'm going to go ahead and go down to this fake out. Now, my proper play would probably have been to go out into my Mega Venusaur here, take the fake out, and then sack this off, and then go back out into my D-Knight and go for the E-Speed uh, to possibly do some extra damage to stuff, but uh, I, to be honest with you guys, it wouldn't have mattered anyway, because I've, I would have had to rely on E-Speed plus fake out on Hitmonlee and Dragonite to take out the rest of his team, that being the Thunderous and the Lopunny, and it, it just wouldn't have happened. It just would not have happened. He would have got the upper hand with the low punny and the fake out and uh, just killed whatever else I had. So it wouldn't have mattered. Uh, I decided to end this game a bit early. I could have played for differential, but going plus an extra one I didn't feel like was worth, you know, playing out another 15 turns. So uh, this is where the, the unburden would have been really helpful. I could have actually won the game here if I saved this, but, you know, whatever. Uh, goes for the high jump kick there, knocks me out. It would have been great if he missed, but what are you going to do? And he picks up the sweep with the low punny at the end. Dude, That those paralysis shenanigans really messed me up. I'm still messed up about it, and I did this match a few weeks ago. So, um, yeah, well, I hope you guys liked it. I, I sure as heck didn't. 
Uh, we only lost 2-0. I thought at the beginning, when he started paralyzing everything, it was going to be a lot worse. So I'm glad I was able to battle back and at least put up some kind of a fight. I'm really liking this team. Uh, I'm not used to a lot of the Pokemon on here, obviously. Like, how, I've, how I handled Manaphy, uh, how I handled Azelf was really poorly. I really haven't used them before. I just know they're really good Pokemon in certain situations. So I'm looking forward to get used to them and hopefully uh, use them to their fullest potentials. Because I feel like once I do, this team's going to be absolutely unstoppable. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you check out next week when we go up against Zephyrexy and the Rome Braviary. Uh, we are currently 2-0 against them in our two other leagues, the UCL, not the UCL, oh my god, I'm not in the UCL, in the GPL and the, uh, the NBA, oh man. We're 2-0 against them, we're also 2-0 against Shattered Simulation Return, I'll see how that turned out, but, uh, yeah, uh, Zeph isn't bad, Zeph is pretty bad, so I think we'll be okay. Uh, thank you guys for watching, my name's Shaquafina, I'm gonna catch you next week.